Hey, here we are with another Tackle Shop Tour. We're at McKee Outdoors in Maryville, Tennessee. It's only about 30 minutes south of Knoxville, right off of Highway 411. They had a huge spread at the Bassmaster Classic 2019 when they were in Knoxville. So I had to come check this store out for myself, and I'm gonna show you what it's all about. Come on, let's go. So you got the medium and the large toughies and then the night crawlers. Now, if you got a toughie in your pocket, don't be around me. Come inside, you look around, there is a lot of square footage, it's a big metal building. They've got a lot of inventory. I can't wait to go through all this stuff. Just walking right in here, you see just tons of rods. They got a bunch of 13 rods, a couple different ones. Man, those things look like they're going in the dark. They've got a bunch of uh, Abu Garcia here. Let's just take a quick gander through here. They've got some I rods. They've got some Berkeley rods, more 13 rods, some more 13 rods. They got some Loomis. They got a bunch of Loomis rods, uh, all kinds. Shimano rods, a good Daiwa spread back here. Um, they got some uh, Dixie Custom rods here. They got some Trident rods. They got all kinds of. And definitely, you know, over there, you got some Cashin rods. Uh, we'll take a quick look over here and we'll start on this side. Got a good little selection of Cashin rods over here. And of course, if you take a quick look over here, they got all kind of different reels. Abu Garcia, Daiwa, Luz, Shimano. They got whatever reel you're looking for. A, a good selection of 13 as well. But we'll come over here. We'll just go around the outside and then come back to the, to the aisles. Good spinnerbait selection. You got some Booyah and Terminator up there up top. Got some good Picasso. Uh, they usually come with Gamagatsu hooks in it. Those are pre pretty good for that. Uh, some nickels down there. Again, you can't have a spinnerbait selection unless you have some nickels. And, uh, and then they got all kind of different treble hooks and, uh, you know, owner hooks, gamakatsu. Got a little bit of line here, some P-line, some, some of your different braids right there. We're just going to keep on the outside. It's a Power Pro. And then a good selection of, of other lines, including your, your sun line. They got the Sniper. Got some Embrazex. Uh, you know, more sun line. More Seaguar. A strand. They got you know good good selection of various lines, um, but we're just gonna we're gonna take a quick look over here. Got some good power bait. Um, you know you got some the fatty bottom hopper. I don't know that I've seen that that bait out there. The bunker hog. I've seen that. Looks familiar. They've also got a good selection of whopper ploppers. Got some vixens for you vixen fans. They've got a few of those. Got some crazy flappers as well. Uh, just kind of some various stuff over here on this side. Got some of the uh, the Nico fat worms some structure jigs and then your your dry creek tubes those are good good tubes got some uh, frogs over here spro mostly spro got some lunker hunt um, got some iobi frogs the jackal ones uh, and then you got some of the the mat daddy the king daddy the big ones uh, and then you got i like this they're, they're lure junkies around here you got all kind of custom painted uh crankbaits right over here i think that's pretty cool in that in that same voice you need to come on into the bathroom it's a little bit odd but there's something in here really cool i want to show you check this out this is one of the first this is the first zoom bait that they made right here uh one of the very first ones and, that, and that's all it was it's just a straight worm with kind of a paddle tail on it um really cool then they got the u-tail and cinnamon rose you never see that color anymore uh, they got the old salty crawfish, super salt plus, and the super salt plus finesse worm. Those are super old, just just really cool stuff right there. As we come back out here, um, I'll just go ahead and touch on these. You got a good XD selection. Um, you got everything from your 10, your 8, your 6, all those you need. Got a few various deep diving crankbaits. I see a little John DD down there. I mean, if you want to catch a fish. They got those there as well. Got some Jean LaRue's and some hardheads. Got uh, got that. Got a few 
the old seven inch power worm. Right here, you got a few, got some uh, some different oil that you might need, uh, quick lube, uh, quick clean, that kind of stuff could help you out. Uh, got some tattletail, bigger tattletail worms, and then just all kind of this is kind of like an in between section, all kind of little stuff from yum, um, you know, some some various jackal, big bite, uh, some Yamamoto, some TRDs. You got uh, you got rodents. You got you got all kind of stuff here on this back wall. You got the new man bear pig from Reaction. Good little rage tail selection. Then you got a good little good little supply of zoom right here. As you as you walk down through here, you see you got you got some different stuff that you haven't seen in a lot. I haven't seen a lot of shops. You got cherry seed dead ringers. Uh, that can be a really good post spawn bait. And you even got tomato dead ringers. The red. You get two different colors of red. Very cool. They got the big big old flukes. You got the sweet potato brush hogs. That orange color. You got the tomato brush hogs. You don't see these those very often. A tomato must be a big color around here. Got the the uh, tomatoes, baby brush hogs. You got the brush hog and can, a cotton candy. That is a really neat color. I've caught some fish on that years ago. Um, Bubblegum lizards, sapphire melon. Check that color out, man. They got all kind of crazy zoom colors in here. I saw one earlier. Where was it? Man, just just all kind of neat stuff right through here. But that's what I love about every tackle shop is always a little bit different. Then they've got some showboat lures here. You talk about a brush hog. Look at this beast. This is just a, now that's a brush hog right there. That's a showboat lure right there. Some crazy things you find in these independent tackle shops, man. Very cool. And then uh, got some, a bunch of reaction stuff. Got a good selection of beavers. Uh, a few rage swimmers stuck in here. Some little dippers and skinny dippers. Uh, all your different uh, colors you might be looking for there. And then as you, you kind of bounce around here. You got more more power bait, power worms, and uh, a few big bite. Got you a few uh, few of the smaller Kitex stuck in here as well. Got tour grade football jigs. This is more of the offshore stuff. Got some jackhammer, jackhammer uh, chatter baits. Definitely uh, with the Zikos that go with them. Just keep on going around this little island. You got some uh, some Bill Lewis's Echoes. Those are new, new newer crankbaits, and then you got that MR6, that new one that they're they're supposed to be selling a bunch of that, and the old stutter step. I know my boy Mark Daniels Jr. throws that a bunch. Then you got going along with that, you got a good selection of rattle traps, a bunch of new colors that I haven't really seen. Uh, I mean, like this guy here, all kind of red on that. Never seen that color before. Kind of, I kind of, kind of like that one. It's got kind of a crawfish with a bunch of gold on it. That's a little bit different. But that's cool. And then over here you got a bunch of Z bosses. You got you got your 25 footers. You got your 24, 22, um, your tens. The Z boss now um, it's from Tim Horton. That's his deal. But Randy Haynes helped him design these, uh, and he is good with the big old plug. I can tell you that. Uh, and then you got some more of the Shaker Z's, some more profound outdoors, uh, hard baits. You come on around this one. You got a selection of, of bandit crank baits. I uh, got a bunch of those different ones. Got your glow plugs. It's a crappy one. Sucker like glows in the dark. Uh, and then you got you got some uh, a bunch of the dredger uh, Berkeley hard plastics. Those uh, those were designed by David Fritz, no less. And I'm sure they uh, will catch them up. Got a few Max Sense baits there. But then as you come over here to some meat, this is a, this is some meat right here. You got a bunch of Vision 110s. They've been beat up pretty hard. Um, and then you got some katanas. You got, most people don't don't realize that Mega Bass makes this big giant jerk bait as well. And that thing's got good action. When you hit it, it rolls over and uh, comes right back up. Really cool Edo shiners down there. And they got more more Mega Bass stuff here. They got the big spark shads. They got the mag drafts. These things are hot as fire. Uh, they'll probably be gone today. They got the new mag draft freestyle. They got the mag. Slow, got all those, and got the big mag draft, the eight-inch ones, and they got a big old ten-inch mag draft. So, mag draft, just give Matt a call here, and you know, get hooked up with them. Uh, and then you got a good bunch of Picasso, the shock blades, a bunch of them. Got a few Scottsboro tackle um, swim baits. Those are really good. I know they have a bigger selection on the other part of the store. But then uh, you back up here just a sec. They got, got a few Rapala crankbaits. You got to have your DT16s, DT10s, and your shad wraps. 
I mean, those are those are must-haves. Got some fish head uh, lures there, and then you got a nice selection of Spro. You got a bunch of rock crawlers, bunch of little Johns, a uh, bunch of different colors. So you know that's that's a big player in this part of the country, uh, East Tennessee, big player. Got these are more your square bills from Strike King. You got a lot of KVD 1.5, 2.5, uh, red eye shads. Also a very good bait. Um, if you switch and hit this side, they got a good, this is one of the better trocar end caps I've seen. They got all kind of different trocar hooks here. A good, good selection of those. And then as, oh, I think I skipped over this earlier, uh, more treble hooks for you to choose from and some shaky heads and more swim bait hooks, various things that you might, might need hook wise. And then this is kind of your buzz bait, chatter bait area. You got some booyah buzz baits. You got your hoppies buzz bait. Now this is one of my favorites right here. It's the tally whacker. Now there's probably like a 40% chance that your grandmother used to refer to your private parts as a tally whacker. 40% chance that could be true. That makes that bait like 10 times better. Uh, they, they got that hammerhead from Greenfish. That is a really good buzz bait. Uh, get that counter strike from, uh, from Booyah as well. Got these Japanese underground tackle baits here. Looks like a vibrating jig. Very interesting. Never seen those before. Again, something that you only see in tackle shops. Got some more showboat lures. Uh, got some big, uh, big crawl looking deals there. Kind of crazy. Got some big oversized bucktail vibrating jigs from showboat. I mean, more stuff I've never seen before. You, know, you just come over here to this side is more jerk baits. Uh, you got your Lucky Crafts, you got some Jackals. Um, you got a few Z-Man products mixed in. You got the riser bait from Jackal, it's, uh, it's new. That's pretty hot. Uh, you got some Rick Klein baits down there. Uh, you got a, little, got a little section of Doomsday. Keep moving up. They got some Guggen baits here. Uh, more of their, I think that's their Mondo Worm and then their Slim Shake. Got a selection of Speed Traps. Again, East Tennessee, they know their crankbaits. There are certain times of the year that people will pull out that, that Speed Trap and then more, more of the dredger baits. And if you switch, turn around, this is more of the, the, the finesse stuff. Got a little robo worm here. You got some Z-Man, got some missile baits, got some bomb shots. Things hot as fire, boys and girls. Hot like fire. Uh, you got some uh, dream shots there, crosstail shads. And then a good little Z-Man selection, finesse TRDs, uh, finesse shads, and then the TRD crawl. We'll just keep coming on up through here. It's a local, it's a recon football jig, uh, this MGC. They make all kind of different stuff. A lot of good looking custom colors uh, on this jig and they got gamakatsu hooks in it. Very cool, I've never seen these before, but they uh, those jigs look really good, look well made, obviously with a, with a gamakatsu hook in them. And then they make a spinner bait, which also looks very good. They call this the X-Wire Cobra. That looks good, very cool. And they got some pink ones, holla. I'll let your boy, pink's the new black. I don't know what that means. I think it's stupid, but anyway, they, uh, then you come over here and this is like the serious meat section of the soft plastics. Um, yeah, I don't know if you, you, you may not see it in the camera, but there is a worn section in the concrete right here in front of the uh, missile baits. Um, and I can completely understand uh, because they got D-bombs, a whole bunch of different color D-bombs. Uh, they got some destroyers, let's see. What else, they got baby D-bombs, baby destroyers. This is more of the, just, just the creature baits that we make and they got a really good supply of it. They got some of the bulk bags down there. I know they sold the fire out of them, things at the classic. Crawl fathers as well. And some drop crawls that go along with the micro jigs. They got a good selection of micro jigs. Those are also hard to find. And then they got some 48s down here. They got a few uh, trench hog Gugan baits mixed in there. And then they got a, got a big selection of these pure poison jigs. Now this is a local local company, local guy. You're not going to find these in a lot of a lot of places. But again, uh, they get three jigs and a pack and a brush. You know, it's just kind of a, a standard brush jig, which works very well right there. But they got all kind of different other heads, and and they have custom skirts. Yeah, I'm sure he makes them up by hand. They look really good. And, and then you got all kind of jig trailers there. Your zoom stuff that you need to stick with. We're just going to lap on around here to where we saw this section with the whopper ploppers and then they've got now this is this is how you know that they're handmade you look over here it said it's terry's sbs terry spinner baits so somebody named terry made up all these spinner baits and if you're you know you know like you're a big 
UNC Tar Heel fan. You got your Carolina Blue spinner bait. That's what I'm guessing he he could be. Uh, you got your blue and white one right here. So you know, if you're more of a uh, Duke Blue Devil fan, you got them right there. So all kind of custom. I love that kind of stuff. I think it's so cool. And then they got a whole end cap of, of the Tuckle Frogs, the Sprinker. Just throw it, reel it. That thing bloop, bloop, bloop. Those things were hot as fire. They definitely still catch fish, but he's got a good selection of them here. And this is a fact right here. I don't know if anybody knew. Uh, fat girls ride for free in my boat as well. Uh, that's from that spinnerbait manufacturer. Brown ones, green ones, and spotted ones. Uh, that is a fact. I may leave with one of those t-shirts before the day's over. So we're just going to come on over here. Matt's over there selling the fire out of some stuff. But this is cool. This is uh, D's Baits. It's a local company here. This guy hand makes all these. He sells them by the dozen. The price is unbelievable. But these are swing heads. He's got uh, spring lock shaky heads, um, Ned heads. He's got all kind of different stuff. Like here's his, he's got a weedless Ned head and he sells them by the dozen with a two off, you know, for, uh, I, don't, I don't even know what the price is. I don't want to quote it, but amazing. Uh, and then here's more of the pure poison glide baits hand hand painted handmade uh, again he's got a whole basket of them right here just cool stuff and then to finish it up we're going to come over here got the crappie fishing section if you want to go out there and catch you a bunch a mess of crappie to eat they've got a nice selection bobby garland and some other brands as well i'm going to take you over here real quick to this other wall big selection of power rods look at all them power rods those are really light really lightweight rods and you come over here, and then this is where, at the picnic table, you eat because there's spoons here. Uh, at the, those ledge hog spoons, you got a, a bunch of different swim bait heads right here, and then a bunch of different swim baits. Uh, you got your Kytex, everything from the 2.8, 4.8, um, all all those say 5.8, and then you got a good selection of Scottsboro tackle uh, swim baits. These things are really hot. Um, those things look fantastic and they swim really good. They got the original bass tricks right here. If you want to go, start, stay with the original, then they got some of the Berkeley Hollabellies, the Berkeley Power Swimmers, some of the Zoom Swimmers. Um, you got some of the big spoons. These are more of a custom, uh, handmade ones. Got some big swim baits through here, some Zoom flukes. You got your umbrella rig stuff here, and you got your Nichols Magnum Flutter Spoon, sexy spoons, all kind of different rods and reel accessories. Got some clone soft plastics from. Uh, from profound but man just a ton of stuff in this store this is again mckee outdoors down here in maryville tennessee they had a big spread at the classic so i knew this was going to be a place that i wanted to come back to and i'm going to cut this camera off right now and i'm going to go shopping and then we'll get back on the road so stop by mckee outdoors see ya